The state plans to replant millions of clams and oysters in an effort to purify polluted waterways where manatees are starving to death. As of yesterday, a record 968 manatees have died so far this year. And as Mike Vasilinda tells us, the state fears the coming winter could be even worse. While the 968 manatee deaths are a record, up 11 since the end of September, there are long-term consequences because 4 out of 10 were adults. These long-lived, slow-growing, slow-to-reproduce animals, the adults are really important as far as maintaining that population and having offspring. Boat encounters continue to be a problem, but more problematic is the lack of food caused by deteriorating water conditions. It's really a crisis because of all the nutrients and algae in the water, the grass, the sunlight can't get through to let the grass grow. The most recent survey of manatees by the state was five years ago. It found there were just over 8,800 of the mammals, but so concerned are lawmakers that one actually told the FWC to ask for more money this year to do a new study. In addition to replanting oysters and clams to clean the water, one contingency could be bringing food to the sea cows to keep them alive this winter. Restoration is not working because the water quality that killed the seagrasses to begin with is still there. And Thad Altman worries we're watching the sea mammal go extinct before our eyes. You got to keep them alive and that's a question that I don't think we've ever had to confront and I don't think we ever thought we'd have to confront this so quickly, so fastly, where a species literally is starving to death right before our eyes. FWC is spending $8 million this year to protect the manatee. It's asking for another 6 in the coming budget. Reporting from the state capitol, Mike Vasilinda, Channel 4, the local station.